Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Precious and I'm a second year med student. And if you're not new to my channel, then you may be familiar with a lot of the pre-med advice videos that I've done in the past. Um, some of those include interview tips, um, tips on how to choose the right medical school, tips on um, how to create your list of where to apply, um, tips on uh, just how to get in overall. And with that, um, I did a video that was very extensive about some of the different steps you should take to get accepted and some things you have on your application. And one of those things that I mentioned is your personal statement. So when applying to medical school, um, a lot of the metrics are very objective. So things like GPA, things like um, your MCAT score, things like how many hours you had shadowing or volunteering. But with your personal statement, it's something that's very subjective and it's something that you can, tr um, can control. So it's a way to really let uh, the admissions committee know who you are and kind of bring life to your application. So it's very important that you nail um, your personal statement and effectively tell the admissions committee who you are as an applicant and as a person. So some of y'all may be aware there's a lot of services out there that helps you with the application process as far as um, personal statement writing, editing, and reviewing. And a lot of those different companies are very ex uh, expensive and they may just do like one review of your application and the feedback is not really that personal. But there is a company called Motivate MD. It was created by um, a third year medical student. Uh, he really was passionate about helping pre-med students, the application process, because as you guys know, if you're going through the process now, it's very daunting from what you need to do from your first year to the time uh, that you apply as far as, um, you know, getting letter, re letters of recommendation, shadowing volunteer hours, you know, making sure you're maintaining your grades, studying for the MCAT, uh, how do you even apply the primary application process, the secondary application process so it's a lot and if you don't have guidance in that it can be difficult but with motivate md um you know it's created by third year student um they have medical students on staff they have um medical students who are part of the admissions committee and what they do is they help you with your application so they do reviews of your personal statement and it's two people that's looking at it it's two reviews they give you great feedback um they also do reviews of your actual primary application so you know um you not only write your personal statement but you have to fill out all your extracurricular activities and with that comes sections where you need to write about that and express what you do with those activities so it's important that you articulate yourself in those sections so they help with feedback with that and editing and that after you submit your primary application you now submit secondary applications so these are essays that you have to submit for every single school that you apply to and it could be multiple questions that you have to answer and again it's so important to articulate yourself with these essays and so they provide feedback and editing with that process so they have like an ultimate acceptance package where they do all of those editings for you or you can do the personal statement package um, where they'll do a couple edits and provide feedback of your personal statement and again the prices are good because these are medical students they went through the process they know how it is you know they're not gonna try to you know rip you off like some of these big companies do and I think it's always good to get um, you know feedback and perspective of somebody that's been through the process so a medical student that's went through it a medical student that's even serving on the admissions committee that's talked to the admission directors and see what they look for in the applicant because um, I think a lot of times people are confused about what goes into your personal statement um, you know how you should characterize yourself how you should express who you are as an applicant and so this tool this company really helps with that so depending on where you are in the process of writing your personal statement if you just need to get some ideas out and get started or if you've already wrote a complete first draft and you need editing they do both of those things and so with me um when it was time for me to apply i think i started writing mine around um march time and applications can be submitted as early as january so that gave me a few months to really get it together and get some edit edits in so i wrote my complete first draft and then um i had it edited by um my sisters and my brother who um, both, you know, went through the process of applying to a graduate um, type of program. So I felt like those would be good sets of eyes to read and then also my advisor. And so if you guys need extra sets of eyes to read your personal statement, which is very important because you're looking at it through one lens, you may think it's amazing, you have your perspective, but it's important for other people to, I feel like, look at it as well, give you different perspectives. And so if this is something you'd be into, I think you should definitely check out Motivate um, MD. I do have a discount code for you guys that gives you 25, 20% uh, 20 off and it's WCC20. 
And so now I'm just going to jump into some of the key things that I feel are important into making your personal statement a good one. So the first thing is organization is key. This may seem obvious, but you really need to have a central, th a central theme of what your personal statement will be focused on. So I feel like you should treat it like any other English paper. You know, you have your main topic. From there, you develop your subsequent paragraphs. And so if you're not organized and you're all over the place, the person that's reading um, your essay on the admissions committee is going to lose interest and they're going to be lost. So figure out what your main theme is going to be and then from there, develop it and expand on it throughout the the essay so say for example you were inspired to be a doctor based on your um work as a, a medic well that's your central theme and from there you need to organize each uh subsequent paragraphs based on that key theme so organize it in a way that tells a story and leads the admissions committee reader to a certain point and then finish it off with a strong conclusion so just organize it par by paragraph by paragraph how you want to convey your message so my next tip is to show don't tell so just put yourself in the shoes of the admissions committee person that's reading your letter. They read thousands of letters and somehow you need to stand out to them. So if you want to convey that you're compassionate and that's why you feel you're going to be a great doctor, just don't say I'm a compassionate person. Talk about prior experiences where you showed your compassion. So say for an, exist, uh, for an example, you had a job as a CNA, a certified nursing assistant, and you did something that shows your compassion um, through your work. Explain that example and really, you know, give the details of what you did. You know, I feel like making yourself memorable, making your personal statement memorable will come from giving those unique experiences instead of, not that it's generic, but instead of saying like, I'm compassionate, um, I'm trustworthy, I'm this or that. Well, provide feedback, show how you did it, just don't say it. So examples, examples, you know, you don't have to overdo it. Just p provide maybe one or two antidote or stories to show how you have those certain qualities or characteristics that you're trying to convey. So my next tip is make sure you're answering the appropriate question. So typically the question for the personal statement is why do you want to be a doctor? You know, why do you feel you'll be a good doctor? Why do you feel you'll be a good fit for this program? So the answer about why you want to be a doctor is a personal one. You can go um, in a variety of directions for that one. But I've heard a lot from people on admissions committee or just people in the medical field the answer of I want to help people is not a good enough answer because you can help people in so many other ways outside of medicine, maybe through social work or any other route. So it's really specific about why you want to be a doctor. So say your family is from a third world country and you saw how it was, um, you know, people getting medical care in undeveloped countries and things of that nature. And that's why you're passionate about becoming a doctor. And that's why you feel you'll be a good doctor because you have that empathy. Make sure you're answering that question and being and make sure you're expressing that throughout your personal statement. So again, back to the original question of why you're writing the personal statement and what the question is, you know, why do you want to be a doctor? If you're passionate about research and that's the theme of your personal statement, talk about your passion, but then relate it back to why that deals with you wanting to be a doctor or why that deals with you wanting to be a good doctor. So by the time the admissions committee member is done reading your personal statement, it should be a foregone conclusion that you're going to be a good doctor and you have a great reason for wanting to become a doctor. Again, those reasons are personal and there's various reasons for that. So you just kind of have to dig deep and be able to come up with a good reason. I mean, you should know it by the time you're applying to medical school, but be able to convey that in your essay. So my next tip is simple is sometimes better. So don't feel the pressure to wow your audience or wow the admissions committee with your liter uh, with your writing skills. So pretty much your job with a personal statement is just to present a coherent argument about why you'll be a great doctor and why you want to be a doctor. So don't get caught up in making these long extravagant sentences. Just use, you know, powerful stories, um, great anecdotes, great examples about why you want to be a doctor and why you'll be a great one. So, you know, getting bogged down in all these convoluted sentences and, you know, all these extravagant words, if you want to call it that, can sometimes uh, distract the admissions committee member from what, from the message you're actually trying to convey. So, you know, use strong verbs, get to the point, but keep it simple. So my last tip is to take your time, start early, and make sure you have multiple people read your essay. So for me, like I mentioned earlier, I started my um, first draft around March and you're able to submit your primary application in June. So that gave me a little time to write my first draft, um, have a few edits from different people. And um, it was also important, oh, I didn't know this 
when I did it but it was important for me to write it early because when I started asking her recommendations the people that my letter writers wanted my personal statements so they can see a little bit about me and be able to you know put that into the recommendations so that's also a good reason why you should start early and you know multiple edits it's good to um, get a different set of eyes a different perspective about your essay so again start early multiple edits like I mentioned early motivate MD is a great resource a great company to um, to do the editing process for you uh, I do have the discount code for 20% so check them out if you need um, help in the editing process and if you guys have any questions about personal statement about any of the application process just leave it in the comment below and I'll be sure to answer it I hope this was helpful um, in some way if it was please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one bye guys